Hello and welcome to Renovation Week 3. Jas and I feel like we haven't been to the house for ages because it was bank holiday, Easter bank holiday as well, so it was four days. In fact, we're only here on Saturday. Today is Tuesday the 6th of April. And let me just show you what's happened in here because we haven't even gone around the rest of the house yet, but I'm currently in the living room, which is, yeah, hold on. So we've literally just walked into the living room and look, they've put this stud wall back up. It's all enclosed now. So, so far this room doesn't feel as small as I thought it would. I have to be really careful where I step because these floorboards, some of them are still missing and there's actually <laughs> quite a lot of tools on the floor as well. I swear these gaps in the floor get so much bigger every time I come, but here we go. Wow. I don't know how I feel about his window being bricked up. I mean, it's obviously too late now anyway, but um, wow. Window has been blocked up in the kitchen. So the reason we have now changed our mind and asked the builders to block this window up was because it just means that we can have taller kitchen units that would have been a waste of space and instead we're going to have two skylight windows in the extension part had we have kept this window we would have only had one large skylight and then obviously we can't have wall units or floor to ceiling units or a fridge or whatever because obviously the window would have been in the way so i think we made the right decision overall i would never normally want to block up a window because i love as much light as possible but also in all honesty if somebody was to break in through a window hopefully obviously that never happens that would have probably been the easiest window to break into previously because it was a huge window like literally it just opens and anyone can climb out so i think we've made the right decision but it just feels so strange in here they're also going to be centering these spotlights that are currently up here so they're gonna have to break the whole ceiling and kind of rebuild it i guess <laughs> i'm sure i've said this previously but our um downstairs toilet is kind of gonna go in here as far back as possible they had to break that just to see if we could get rid of this and unfortunately we can't because this piece of timber here is holding up our staircase as is this one that's really annoying because obviously that is eating into a lot of the space for where the toilet would go so i think he said he has a workaround and he can make that a bit narrower but it will still stick out a little bit because obviously we need to hold the staircase up you know i've crossed over to the other side and it was very difficult <laughs> let me show you <laughs> it was very risky and i'm not one for taking risks but this was the only way to this side of the house to be honest so here we go this is the extension this is all of their um, bits and pieces and this is the dining room so i can finally see this now so what they've done on that partition wall is put up a bit of wood just so that if we ever want to wall mount our tv we're not doing that now but if we ever do in the future the wall can support the tv and it won't fall and also they're going to create some sort of hole or gap i wasn't really sure what he said but basically just to hide the wires of our tv um inside that wall which would be great and i also told the electrician the other day to make provision for just in case we ever want to have a TV on this side of the wall in here because this will eventually be like a second lounge area because for now we don't want to stick a TV in here but just in case we ever do at least we have that option without having to replaster that wall and take bits out of it or have wires on display so tonight I think we just need to mark up some plug sockets in the living room over there but I thought I would just take you around here there's not much that's changed. Oh, it's freezing outside. It was snowing earlier as well, which is crazy for April. But there we go. This is the current state of our beautiful garden. <laughs> I don't think anything has changed in this bedroom since I was last here. Um, my notes are still stuck up on the wall for the electrician. And yeah, it doesn't look like much has changed. To be honest, it's so cold in this house. Just look at how pretty the colour of plaster looks. So we've just gone round in the living room, marking out. 
probably going to be quite hard to see. There's loads of stuff in the way where we want plug sockets because obviously our old ones are in the skirting board. So they'll lift it up here. And I think this little thing is something to do with that socket. So hopefully he'll remove that, which will be great when he comes around to replastering. You know what? As soon as he walked in, I could really smell onions in this room. <laughs> and I've just realised why <laughs> there's an onion on the floor. And I think it's from somebody's subway that they must have had for lunch, which is so funny. You have to ignore the state of me. Like, I've literally spent all day at my laptop shopping for toilets. So I look like crap. But we had a meeting, didn't we, with the electrician, Jess, on Saturday. Mm -hmm. And he was like, are you sure? Like, this is too many sockets. And I was like, yeah, but if it was your house, wouldn't you rather have a socket on every wall? Because you want the option of being able to use it. And it's not something that you ever add later like why would you live in a house for 10 years and be like oh let's add one socket you need to like replaster repaint do all of that fun stuff so i'd rather just have plenty of sockets so we know it's there right mm. that's the plan anyway just can you please demonstrate <laughs> just just walked out and i said to make sure you don't fall in here and he said i almost nearly did and as he was showing me how he almost fell in there again yeah i need to fall third time yeah i thought no i can't do it like this <laughs> I just found that little <laughs> crib out my foot. It's actually very deep. It like really it goes deep. all the way down. Whoa. Oh my god, you're shorter than me when you stand there. It's <laughs> amazing. Anyway, this was our kitchen window that's been removed. Do you see what I mean? Like this mottled glass. It wasn't very pretty. I wonder why it's not in the skip though. This is the skip. Nicely filling up. So this week, I think they're creating the partition for the toilet and I need to order the toilet tonight. I've spent two days trying to find the perfect toilet and it has been such a nightmare. Like who knew there was so much to toilets and because shops aren't open yet, it's so frustrating because I keep calling all these places and we've got loads of like showrooms nearby as well, just so I can go in and see what a certain size basin looks like, if you can actually wash your hands in it, but you just can't go into any showrooms until Monday. So that's very frustrating. But the reason we're struggling with toilets is we are trying to find one that's called a comfort height toilet. And that basically means that they're roughly about 10 centimeters higher, the pan, than a regular toilet. And that just means that it's better for people that are taller or more importantly, with mobility issues. So like my grandparents, for example, have those toilets because it's easier for them to stand up from or sit down or whatever. And I don't particularly like them because I'm so short that <laughs> this is like such TMI, but when I'm sat on their toilet, if I'm sat properly, my feet don't actually touch the ground because I have really short legs. <laughs> so I kind of have to lean forward, but that's not an issue. It's just a downstairs toilet and it just means that they can come and visit us for like long periods of time and not have to like go up the stairs or like have issues with the toilets. So I just think it's a really good idea, not just for like my grandparents, but for both our parents and all that sort of stuff. Like it's not that difficult to find a comfort height toilet, but it's finding one that's not too big and bulky because it's a tiny downstairs toilet one that's like a space saver they call it and also one that just doesn't look ugly i mean when you spend two full days looking for toilets you're just like what like i've never even noticed a toilet anywhere in my life why would you but now i feel like i know everything there is to know about them <laughs> and I just don't want one that looks ugly. I kind of want one that's square, so it's a bit modern, but also not uncomfortable. I want a soft clothes. You can't get everything. And I want a closed back toilet, which basically means there's no gap between the bottom of the toilet and the back of the wall. But apparently that is virtually impossible to find with a comfort height toilet that doesn't look ugly. So I'm just gonna have to get over the fact that I will have to get down on my knees and hands and knees and clean the back of the toilet. But as long as it looks half decent, um, it's not the end of the world. So basically that is what I've spent the past two days doing and it is literally, oh my God, it's 10 p.m. I'm gonna order this toilet tonight. In other news, um, I don't think I've mentioned this anywhere in my videos yet, but because we're doing some structural work to the house, knocking down a wall that touches our neighbor's wall we had to serve them a party wall notice this was about three or four weeks ago 
we went around to talk to them we then put a note through their door and then they put a note back through our door we spoke to them a couple of times in between and they've kind of given us a negative acknowledgement of a party wall which at first we were like oh this is the worst case scenario it's actually not the worst case scenario yes it means that we have to add on a bit more to our budget that we hadn't anticipated cost wise but we always knew that this could be a possibility but it just means that they want to use a surveyor which obviously we have to pay for because we're the people that want the work done but luckily they're happy for us to use their surveyor as well which is called an agreed surveyor um so that just means that we don't have to pay for two different ones because they could have turned around and said no we want our own one that's impartial and you should get your own one but legally they all have to be impartial so we've given this guy that they want to use the go ahead luckily he isn't extortionate <laughs> his charges aren't extortionate i did a lot of research into this and it's a bit annoying because there aren't really any laws that protect the person doing the work i.e us so they could have found someone a bit dodgy that could be charging thousands and as long as they can like prove that it's reasonable in term for, for them like we'd be stuck with a big bill but luckily this guy seems legit and he isn't extortionate which is quite good and so hopefully he'll be getting back to me in the next couple of days which means we can go ahead with the structural work i will do a video about this in more detail if you guys are interested so let me know in the comments down below but to cut a long story short technically <laughs> structural work can't start for two months and one day after the party wall no notice has been served unless they agree in writing or they get a surveyor and he does his stuff and then they agree and so far i think we should be getting the go-ahead to do it from this week onwards which is so great because that means that our building work isn't delayed but anyway this is probably so long and boring for those of you that don't even really know about this or don't even care but if you do want me to do a separate video on this then let me know in the comments down below because it has been eye-opening we have learned like so much in this process and it's only been like three weeks it's just crazy that's all i have to say for now <laughs> Jess and I have just got to the house. A nice shot of Jess's ass there. <laughs> Let me just walk you through. So, the first thing we've noticed is they've put this blue pipe in. A lot of our family were saying, make sure they put blue pipes in for the water, which basically means that blue pipes are the newer ones and they're wider. They're 25 mil compared to, I think, 15, which just means you get a lot more water pressure. So, we can see they've already done that today. This fireplace surround is going to go and let me quickly take you around the house and hopefully my battery doesn't die in the meantime. One major change in here is they've got rid of this big panel that was at the top. He wasn't sure that he'd be able to because it was it was a bit like this the thing above the door frame because there was a door frame here. He thought that might be load bearing. But it wasn't and so he's managed to get rid of it and i'm really happy with that we weren't sure if it was going to happen but it just means that the ceiling from this part of the hallway all the way through the house will be one height without a bit sticking down and i just think it looks much cleaner and it will have a nicer yeah. finish really happy with that aren't you jess yep. okay i've switched to my phone because my battery has just died but like i was saying when i was here at the house yesterday me and the builder were stood just under this gap. And there was another guy upstairs plastering that was shouting to us to move. So the builder like pointed this way to get me to move. And we came back here and it was so lucky because the minute we stepped back, all these like bits just dripped down. <laughs> that could have ended up on our clothes. Oh, hang on a minute. What's happened in here? What? Is this safe? Hmm? Oh my God, they've knocked out part of this wall. Oh shit, yeah. This is for me! Oh my god, okay. So, to basically help me visualise how much of this wall is going, I mean, it's not just for me to visualise it. They were going to knock it out anyway. They just can't do this bit yet because there might be a bit of a problem. Because this wall 
The back wall was the original back wall of the house. This is what we're removing. There needs to be a column here and on the other side to support the RSJ, which is the steel beam that will basically hold the house up. <laughs> and so there'll be a column here, which was all very well. And we had the drawings for that and everything. But once the builders have dug all the way down here, they've noticed that there's... Um, Oh, he did tell me the word, but I can't remember the exact word. Basically, there's something down here which he thinks are like sewage pipes, like our sewage pipes. Or no, a drain. I think that's what he said, a drain. I think it belongs to us and our neighbour, in which case there may, might be a problem like going a bit further down because they have to excavate one metre deep. I don't really know. So he was going to speak to a few people and to building control and just see. Um, I mean, there is a workaround, but it just depends on what they accept. So he was going to speak to them and hopefully he will do so. But that's why he can't remove this wall just yet because we're still waiting for the party wall agreement. But this one has gone. It's incredible. There's our blue pipe, by the way, yeah. Jess. Wow. This is a good so this bit of the wall, they're going to take up as high as they can. But let me just show you this now because they've pulled down the ceiling. <laughs> the entire ceiling has gone. So there is no electricity in this part of the house. <gasps> they've exposed the brick on the chimney breast, which is amazing. And it feels so weird to be able to see this gap, see through here. It's crazy. I'm so tired this morning. Jas and I are in the car. We're on the hunt for spotlights, which is a very exciting purchase. Not. <laughs> we got woken up very early this morning. Basically, I'd listed our bed for sale on eBay a couple of months ago, and somebody won it like over a month ago. But she was just being really long, saying that she was struggling to find somebody to collect it because she lives on the Isle of Man or somewhere really far away. Anyway, I didn't think she was actually going to buy it. And then it was a whole long story, but literally we sat down to dinner at about eight o'clock last night and I had a phone call that I missed. And I got a text saying, please confirm collection of your bed between 9 a.m. and 12 p.m. on Saturday. So I was like, what? So I tried to call them and they didn't answer. And then I basically just had to accept it. But we have no idea how to dismantle our bed. So it took us, what, like a couple of hours at least last night. We're doing it's about 11 p.m. because... We just didn't want to wake up at six and try and attempt it. That bed was such a nightmare to dismantle and oh my God, the dust behind it is just, it's awful, isn't it, Jess? Yeah. It's just so bad. Anyway, that's gonna be a fun job for me this afternoon, cleaning it. But for now, we are going to buy some spotlights or look for some or whatever. I think Jess is gonna to go to the house after lunch to strip some wallpaper and to like do the finishing touches. I then have a kitchen planning appointment at 5 p.m. with Ren. It's gonna be our second one, actually, so I need to firm up a few details. I think we're going with Ren. We still haven't 100% decided, but so far they seem like the best, most affordable option for us in terms of kitchens. I have to say, though, their customer service could do with a little bit of help. Like, the guy, but we're dealing with the designer. He's nice enough, he's very salesy. They obviously have some sort of script, um, which I absolutely hate, but overall their service doesn't seem that great, but their prices are affordable and they do like interest-free finance for three years, which I think we might be doing. I've never bought anything on finance before. Have you? Mm, no. No, it's very scary. Okay, it is now Saturday night. Jas has just come back from wallpaper stripping in the house. I have cleaned up the bedroom. We bought a Simba mattress in the Black Friday sales and a new bed frame. They've all been sitting boxed up in the spare bedroom. So tonight we are just bringing the mattress out, sleep on the floor again, because we are just too tired to assemble a whole new bed. <laughs> so this is where our old bed currently was. It was a super king size bed. And this time we bought a king size mattress. It literally comes in a box like this. <laughs> and 
it's like vacuum packed it was all rolled up ignore all this mess i've literally been cleaning this whole room the amount of dust that gathers under a bed is absolutely ridiculous and our bed was so big and heavy that you just couldn't move it but now it is all clean i've mopped the floor like four no three times and i've vacuumed three times just to get every little bit of dust out can i have a go this looks like so much fun it is. Wait, oh. is it my turn is it my turn can we swap here I'm starting at my own end. Woo three to five hours, Jas, not mm. three. Wow. That takes you to about 1 a.m. Mm. And then you sleep. Okay. I'll try and hold up for as long as possible, but I am turning into an old lady that needs to go to bed early these days because I'm always constantly tired. Today is Sunday the 11th of April, Jas and I have just got to the house. I hope the builders were meant to be working today, they might be coming after lunch because it's almost lunchtime I think. No it's not, it's like 10am, ignore me. Last week there was like a wooden thing here that stuck out quite a bit and it wasn't like massive but it obviously would have eaten into the space for the toilet and it would have been a bit awkward and he did say to me he's going to try and move it this way so that it's longer against the wall and narrower here but he reckoned it still needed to be there to support the staircase and it was really funny because I think he just figured what I was like because at the time I was like yeah that seems like a good solution and then when I came a couple of days ago he said to me look I could tell that you weren't happy with that I could just tell by the look on your face I don't know how because I had a mask on but anyway he broke all this bit to see what was going on and he realized this support didn't need to be there so instead he's put these supports here which is really good because then that's not in anyone's way and by putting these supports there these bits that go off at the side can actually be removed and this can all be boxed up like neatly like a square rectangle whatever it is and then that way i'm trying not to fall in the gaps through the floor <laughs> Um, and then that way, if you can see it from this angle, it would just come down straight and then down as opposed to this bit, which I think is a really good idea and it's going to look so much neater, just clean lines and like a kind of a smooth finish hopefully at the end. This wall will hopefully go in the next two or three weeks. They've actually opened this wall up a bit because this whole wall was originally going, but now we're keeping part of it just to kind of block the view from the toilet and separate it a bit. Okay, so I can't even really get into this room <laughs> because they've blocked it all up. But this was our smallest bedroom at the front and as you can see, they've prepared the walls for plastering and they've actually put this like fiberglass, I don't know if that's the right word, some mesh thing on the walls. The builder was telling me that not everyone does this and because these walls are quite old, it will basically stop it from cracking because plaster can still crack once it's done, which is great. They've removed this Artex ceiling and I could not be happier. The electrician has basically done everything that he was supposed to do upstairs last week so we're gonna go around and check somehow if we can get in but <sighs> the Artex is gone people nothing makes me happier than to be able to say this <laughs> I don't think they're gonna be plastering oh, the walls for about a week or two because they want to try and they do stuff in like an order or whatever it doesn't really matter but I'm saying that once the front two bedrooms are done to let me know like a rough time scale because then Jas and I are going to paint ourselves, we're not paying them to paint because that adds a lot of money onto our um, like total cost. And so hopefully we can come in and like paint when the builders are still here or at the weekends. It just means that we can move in quicker, at least if we have two bedrooms done we can move into like this, what will be the guest bedroom, it doesn't matter where we sleep obviously there's only two of us and then we can like slowly do stuff up as we've moved in but time is of the essence, so this room looks really good. But apparently it takes them just as long to prepare for plastering as it does to actually plaster. <laughs> and look, they've centralised the light. It's going to be amazing. That was just such a weird location that will go. This Artex ceiling will go. There's a little bit more wallpaper here that needs to be removed. Hold on. Just there. This wallpaper is quite easy, actually, because it just almost peels off it's really thick and they've done all the plug sockets Oof, do not drop my camera in here it really smells like farty up here by the way poor jess working in 
these conditions. <laughs> so this is the room. So this is the room that will be our bedroom. I can't even be in here for long periods of time. I find it so dusty and I cannot breathe. So they've exposed this chimney breast finally. One second, where's my coat? Yeah, my hand. I'm using one hand to... Should I wear it? I asked Jas to hold my coat because there's literally nowhere for me to put oh, it down. I'm putting baby in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> because my phone's in the pocket. Yeah. If it falls through one of these gaps, I'm screwed. Okay. Oh god, oh. you're getting dust all over my yeah, coat. Right. Let me put it on. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. So I suggest you put a mask on <laughs> and open a window. It's very dusty in here. Okay, I put my coat on because it is actually quite cold in this house, to be honest. Oh, oh god, I need to measure before the builder gets here. I need to, um, yeah, you can do measure. I need to uh, get a drink from the car. Okay. Oh, so dusty in here. I apologise if I oh, sound awful, but this was our um, airing cupboard. I am glad that it's gone, but now I'm actually thinking about where the hell do we put towels and stuff when you don't have an airing cupboard in a house? Obviously, this was not an ideal place in your bedroom, but... This is not a big house that has like an airing cupboard on the landing. Anyway, that's a future problem. This exposed chimney breast actually looks quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> I really like a bit of exposed brick. Maybe I can ask him if we can keep, because this one's going next door. Hmm, that's an idea. He's going to hate me by the end of this. Dress, what are you doing? Are you going to anyone? <laughs> that's fibre. Oh, that's the fibre thing for the... Mesh. Fiber, I think it's called fiberglass for the um, it's like the mesh they put on the walls, walls, yeah, for the plaster. So, yeah. It actually looks quite nice on the yeah. walls with the color so of plaster. If you get a wall done properly, so I'll make sure they put this kind of stuff on it, yes, so it afterwards. Yes, sorry, I'm going to try and somehow get around. Oh, I can't even lean against any of this stuff, it's so dusty. Ah! Shit. That's just the wallpaper stripper. What? Nothing is fine. What are you doing? Where are you? <laughs> I'm just trying to see something. I you fell into a hole or something. <laughs> no, that would be a funny story if I fell into a hole. But I don't, I'm not sure how you're going to get this wallpaper stripper out now. Because there's like nails sticking out. That's enough rambling from me. I'm going to end this video here, actually. So anyway, thank you for watching. And I hope you're still enjoying these renovation vlogs. I will see you next week with a new video. Bye. <laughs>